Slatan <laughs> Ibrahimovic, thank you so much for speaking to me. I want to talk today about preparing yourself for success, preparing yourself to be the best person you can be. And I want to start by being really practical. So if you don't mind, can you talk about what does your morning routine look like? What happens from when you wake up to when you get out to the day? I mean, the the first thing, you when you wake up, you turn off the alarm, <laughs> wake up call, and then you go to the bathroom and... Uh, and you start to, to organize yourself, fresh yourself up and uh, use the products you need to, to feel comfortable, first of all, and uh, feel fresh. So I have my own routines that I basically follow every day and um, where, I feel, where I feel good, comfortable and fresh. And then and I just follow up with... Uh, with with it every day, every morning. So that's a, a routine I always follow. Do you work out in the morning? Uh, I mean, after after organizing myself and that, then I work out. Yes, I I, le- I like to keep keep being active and uh, and uh, and prepare myself in uh, in my profession that is playing football. So. I practice a lot and I'm a little bit of a workaholic. I like to work and I like to suffer through my work. So that is when I feel on top and as my best of me. Do you have any specific routines that help you get into a successful mindset to go I'm, into the day really? Uh, I mean, I'm, I try to surround myself with positive energy uh, positive vibes and uh, push myself to to be positive, to be open-minded, and uh, because a new day is a new day. You learn every day. You learn something new and uh, and discover something new. So uh, and I try to to enter everything in a, with a positive mindset. So that is what I try to do and. Uh, and then, obviously, in my profession, I go in, I go to for for, how do you say, for for the kill, to become better and uh, to improve myself and um, and to challenge myself to be a better Zlatan every day. I'm curious though about mentally preparing yourself for doing what you do physically, because it seems to me, throughout your career, you've been very good at projecting something internally or firing something up internally or telling yourself a story almost internally? I mean, uh, I think the mental part is 50% in everything we do, either if you play football or whatever you work with, because if you're not ready mentally, doesn't matter how big talent you have or how prepared you are, because... If you're not prepared mentally and ready me- in with the mental part, then then it's very difficult because I think the confidence comes from the mental part. I mean, you have confidence, then the mental is there. And uh, I always had a I always had a big confidence in in what I'm doing, and I believe in what I'm doing. And uh, sometimes right, sometimes not right, but. Yeah, you still have to believe in what you do and uh, and uh, and reach for it. So, but my my confidence is, is strong. I never had a a problem preparing myself mentally because I know if I'm ready mentally, then the the rest I have no problems because I know what I'm able to do and I know my skill set and uh, and uh, I know I can do above normal so but yeah if you're not ready mental, yeah, mentally then it, then it's very very difficult mm. do, have you, do you have to find new um, stories to tell yourself to become ready because I you know, obviously as you say you've always been very 
confident and even since since like a young boy taking on the world but now then you took on the world and then you became the best player and so forth do you find new places to is there another source that you go for i mean i try always in everything i do i try always to make the difference and uh, i always say why be normal when you can be the best and and that goes for everything i do if i if i play football or if i'm in the fragrance world or whatever project i'm i'm involved and uh, and that's my mindset and uh, find different stories is making new stories and uh, and i always try to to be unlimited reach as high as possible and i have one thing that i'm never satisfied i always want more so when i do something and and everything is okay I, i'm the the next day it, it's not okay i want even more and i always work hard to to reach as far as possible so that's who i am i'm i'm never satisfied i always want want more if that is positive or negative i don't know because sometimes i think you have to stop enjoy the moment enjoy for well, whatever you achieved or whatever you do so but that maybe will come in the next chapter of my life i was going to ask you because as you mentioned doing other things other endeavors other businesses are there similarities between how you prepare for a game and how you prepare for business or or even family i think uh, i'm very organized i like to have control in everything i do so if something goes wrong or a mistake was done then i can blame myself i cannot blame other ones because if you let loose then uh, people are in charge and uh, they control they they do their own thing and then it's it's in the hands of other ones but i like to be in control and especially if my name is involved or me as a f- person is involved uh, i do things because i believe in things i believe i can make a difference or uh, or make noise and uh, some things you do from your heart some things you do from from the brain and uh, and and that's the challenge and I, and i'm not afraid to 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 take a challenge that is not easy that is very difficult but that's who i am as a person so uh but to plan and be organized and be and be very professional i think mm-hmm. in whatever you do and respect and take responsibility you mentioned uh you have your own line of products that carries your name uh started with a fragrance and now you have other products as well what was the most important thing when starting this endeavor i think the the story behind behind the whole uh, the whole uh, project the whole the whole thing because it had it had to feel real that it's really me and not something that i did and somebody else did it and used me for something that they wanted to to expose and uh, i think that was important that it came from me and that i'm involved and uh, and that it feels natural that something i could do and that's the way it went and it has gone very well and is growing and uh, it's very exciting i have to say because when new things happens and it's positive feedback is the best response you can get so we are doing something good not only me it's the whole team behind the the Zlatan Ibrahimovic perfume so i'm very proud and happy that you when you start from with something from zero and then you grow you become bigger and then you you explore other things so i'm very proud i'm also curious was it scary i mean obviously you've done and a fantastic career in football and then going into a brand new field a brand new business is it can can slatan be scared going into something I mean new? I think uh, there is a risk in everything you do you never know how it goes but I think uh, if you do it in a proper way and uh, it feels real natural if you fail or not I think you should not be afraid of 
risking something. I have to have the courage to do it. And if I believe in something, I will do 200% to to make it uh, successful. And I don't do a lot of things. I I choose to be selective in things I do. And this is something I chose. And I met a, a fantastic team that I work with. And, uh, and it has gone forward, just like the new product. What's your favorite product from your own line? That you use? I, I mean, I like the whole, uh, the whole mix of everything because I like to change up the things, change up the product that I use and not always use one product. So just like my game, I like to change, change the game, be a difference, not normal. So, but I like that I have the whole complete set. So from perfume to the Dio and the, the body wash, face wash. So there is a, the, the whole complete set for a beauty bag. So that is what makes me happy and proud. So you have everything you need. You talked about risk before and doing things that are risky. And it seems to me that you don't, you don't I mean, as you've done in interviews before, sometimes you can be a little provocative and... Uh, I think to to some people you can be provocative even in business. Is it is it important for you to be provocative or is it about following I, your own? I think it's all about what you believe in, and uh, some people see it provocative and uh, some people see it as confidence. And uh, I say what I think. I say what I believe in. Afterwards, maybe it doesn't suit everybody. But I'm just being myself, and uh, I don't change for nobody or or something. I'm, I'm I've been myself since day one, and I said to myself, I will not change for for nobody or however successful I I will become. I will not change. I will be myself. And people have different opinions. They have the right for to have opinions, and uh, you don't like it, don't read it. Do you ever take it personal when you get criticized? No. Absolutely not. I mean, it's interesting to see people out there and since the social media started, you do something and then how people react. Sometimes what you see, maybe it's because you want to see it to make to make noise, just to, to get that reaction from different people. But mm. it's not always that they understand that, but... At the same time, you, you feel that's exactly the reaction I wanted or the answer or the opinion. So I like to do things opposite what what whoever does. So I don't like to follow other people. I follow myself. How do you how do you do that? I think a lot of people would like to know if there are any tricks to go your own way. And and more specifically, I think shutting other people people's voices out do you I have think, any tricks do you have any i think it's like we talked just before like the preparing mentally being confident when people say no you say yes when they say yes you say no mm -hmm. and uh, i think that's that is being yourself and you you follow your own path your own uh, your own way of doing things. So it's not always the right thing, but you work hard, you you believe, and you, you take responsibility. So, I mean, I have an example. When I did my book, everybody said, why? You don't do a book while you're active. That is exactly what I will do. Mm. When I went to England to play, everybody said, no. I'm too old, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that. That is exactly what I will do. So I will, de I will prove them wrong and do demonstrate opposite for them. So that is also a challenge, but you have to have courage to take the challenge and not go take the safe line always. That is a risk, but when you succeed, the, the, the feeling is even better. The feeling is, is amazing. That is difficult to describe when you go against every odds that is against you. And I and I prefer it like that. I don't like when everybody is. Uh, you're the best. You're 
the one or all this. I prefer them throwing out all this, whatever they throw out, and and I show them they're all wrong because mm. that stimulates me even more. When you've talked about, uh, especially playing with the, with the Swedish national team, going out on the field, you often talk about it as a place to give back love to those who supported you, give back entertainment and really s- perform in a way. Is that something you think you can do outside of football? You can get I that think same so. rush? I mean, when you're good at something, people people recognize you, people take notice, people people want something or or uh, yeah, you get you you become known for for the people and uh like I'm on the field, I'm trying to be outside and uh, always give energy, positive energy. I give time because, especially for kids, the older ones, the adults. I mean, of course, I give time for them also. But the kids for me is the future. Mm. They're the ones that follow you. They're the ones that take you as an example. And I think it's important to give back. And all the all the love you get in the stadium. All the energy you get in the stadium, the adrenaline, it's like I said, it's fifty percent in the that goes in the head and you, you just wanna give back. And if I cannot give it back on the field, I try to give uh, outside the field. So but we shouldn't also forget that I'm I'm a human being just like everybody else. Yeah. I have feelings, I have emotions just like everybody else, but I try to give back as much as possible in a natural way. I don't try to build up an image that somebody likes, but it's not being myself. I need to be myself. So if I'm not myself, I don't feel comfortable. What role do you th- want Slatan Sport, the brand, to play in people's lives? I mean, I think it has to it has to make them feel comfortable and feeling fresh, feeling that it gives gives you energy and uh, but it should not be a, pro- a product because of my name. It should be a product because you like it, mm-hmm. because you want to have it. And that's the way I think we, we have done the whole thing. So it's not something that I just put my name on and yeah, I have it because obviously that is the start of the of the opinion and but afterwards you you have it because you like it and i want people to enjoy it and that's the role that make gives them confidence in being comfortable speaking about um feelings as you mentioned before i i, I get a sense that you allow yourself to be more personal in interviews lately is you think that's true or I mean, uh, in the beginning was like a roller coaster. It was a lot of wow, a lot of they don't like. And I was fresh. I was young. I didn't have experience. And I was being myself. Then I came in a, in a wave where I was more political in my answer. And then I said, fuck it. I'm not going to be polite. I'm going to be myself. And when I'm myself, I feel comfortable. And then afterwards, like I said, sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. At least you're being yourself. We all do mistakes. We learn from the mistakes, but we will still do mistakes. And being perfect, what is being perfect? You build up something that doesn't exist. For me, perfection is being yourself. And I am being myself. People like it or not, I don't care as long as I'm being myself. What values are most important to pass on to your boys? I think I try to teach them to be independent in the future, to to make them understand how the world works, how people work, to have respect for people, happiness, and work hard. Because if you don't work hard, you, according to me, you don't arrive 
in places you want to arrive. You don't achieve objectives you put up in your head. You need to work for, for everything you want and everything you do. So that is more or less I try, the way I try to raise them. And, uh, and I raise them outside my profession. There's Zlatan Ibrahimovic, soccer player. They have nothing to do with that. I leave them totally outside of that world because they are two different human beings that will do their own story. So when it comes to my profession, it doesn't enter in the house. It stays outside and in the shadow. And uh, when it comes to them, they are, they are more important than whatever I did or whatever I'm doing. So that is, I try to, to teach them and then explore the world for them so they they open up their eyes and see how everything works i think arguably you've done some of the most iconic and, and influential goals in football history uh the bicicleta and, and all these things has it been important for you to do things differently than any other football player or is it more a result of you know you being you i think it's a result of me being who I am. By saying that, it's why be normal when you can be the best? I don't like to be among many where everybody says he's just like everybody else. No, no, I go out from that group where they point the finger and say, this guy is different. He can do different things. And that is what I work hard for. I want to be as complete as possible and be able to do it better than other ones because we play soccer yeah it's collective yes but in the end it's survival mode because being among many it means that another person can do your job and when i enter in a field i say to myself nobody else can do what i do nobody can do my job what does innovation mean to you i mean, it means it means a lot because people will remember remember you for doing something, things that nobody else could do. And uh, th when they ask me, which war, uh, has been your best goals you ever did? That's the one, that's the goals you cannot repeat. Mm. That for me, it's, that is something that everybody will remember forever. And, uh, and why be like everybody else? Two more questions. When this airs, we will know more about your next step for 2020. And you are famously secretive when it comes to next steps. Is it ever frustrating that you can't talk about your future plans or, or is it natural to you? I think it's natural when you're in the, in the position or situation that I am because obviously news sells. Today, whatever comes in the, in the papers, it's... It's buzz, it's to sell things. I remember I heard Denzel Washington said something. If you don't read or follow the media, you miss something. But if you do it, you're misguided. That is, a good quote. that was a very good quote. And, uh, and I agree with him because whatever comes out there, you don't know if it's fake news or whatever it is. And, uh, and when it comes out, then... Maybe it's not so important for the papers or media anymore because it's the truth. Because, but in the end, the truth will always come out. So I prepare to do it in my own way. And uh, I'm not like, uh, I don't share my things with the world and live with the world. I have my own things. I have, I have my, my privacy and all these things I do. And uh, when it's time to come out, things will come out. But yeah. It's not always, it happens like that, but yeah, we try to keep it as secret as possible. But it's not even a secret, it's just me doing my thing and mm. you share when, you, when you're ready to share, if there is something to share. How do you want to be remembered in 50 years? 50, I just, first of all, I want to be remembered as the, the football player. The person, I think, is is less important because I was not born in this world to to become 
friend with the whole world. I, people know me because I'm a football player. People don't know me because I am a person that did whatever I did outside the field. But yeah, the consequence is that people get to know you or know who you are because of things you do outside, because of how good you are on the field and the, it brings, it goes with you outside the field. And uh, But as the football player and and what I achieved and being as complete as possible on the field. And I think what I achieved, achieved not many has achieved. And, and I made... I made a big difference when I played, especially for a country like Sweden, because whatever ex-players or players did before me, I respect. I take that. I take them as an example, and I push it even more. Like I said, whatever the the limit was, I have no limits. I want. I wanted to be as much as possible, just to make noise and and a difference, but in a positive way. So that for me. It's very important, but I've worked hard for it. That is nothing that came on a red carpet, and uh, and that will be my legacy. And uh, I'm very happy and proud. So hopefully somebody else can take after and even do even more. That is what we hope for because it's all about breaking records, doing more than whoever did whatever he did. So hopefully that comes and we will enjoy the game. Maybe still enjoy the game. Slatan, thank you so much for speaking to me. Thank you very much.